In the past five years, I've started five companies that failed. I've ran two e-commerce stores, Sauce Creative, PBJ App, and Eat Like. But a company that I started and haven't ended is my current one, X8 Media. Why haven't I closed on X8 Media yet, even though we've been through some crazy shit? I'm talking about running out of money and not knowing what to do in the next three months and being so stressed out. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about what to do when shit gets hard and you wanna give up. Hey guys, this is the series where I show you guys what it's like running my media company. In the past three episodes, I talked about what my company is and my plans for growing. This week, I'm gonna talk about some shit that hit the fan recently and how I'm planning to go about these problems. A quick recap, I'm the founder of X8 Media, an influencer agency. I also have my new child, Create. We're a social token incubator slash creative agency, and I'm running these two projects while making YouTube videos. Yeah, it's pretty stressful. Whenever I have problems, whether it's not knowing what the fuck to do when a client yells at me or not having enough money to pay taxes, I really go with two solutions, two methods, okay? The first method is having a slow decision process, and the second is asking for help. Let me give you an example. So this week at X8 Media, we have a client, I think it's Whale 4. I forget which whale number I'm talking about. So Whale 4 was upset at me because our company promised to have these many creators. And for some reason we can't fill the last slot because the client's not approving any of the ones we're pitching to them. Now this email back and forth has been going on for a while now. So this left me kind of fucking stressed. So whenever I have these moments, I always do my first method, which is having a slow decision process, AKA, getting off my phone. I remember on Sunday, I just got the email that like none of the creators were approved for the last slot. And I just put my phone in a plastic bag. I put it in a corner somewhere in my room where I can't see. And I just took a walk and I waited 48 hours before replying to this email. I used to, with my older companies, especially with Eat Like, oh my God, I would, act out of stress. I would make decisions out of anxiety. And that led to a lot of my companies go, like literally failing. That's how all of them did not go as planned. Now, of course I pivoted because sometimes I don't like what I'm working on, but I always believe that you cannot trust your instincts, make good decisions if you're coming out of anxiety. So putting your phone somewhere else, taking a walk, disconnecting for two days will help you have a more clear decision. So after those two days yesterday, I emailed them saying, hey, listen, I know that we could have had the right creator. What if instead of finding the perfect creator that can create the right content, we created a script, we created a post and recruited people based who could fit into this role. And I sent that email out and we haven't got a response, but it was probably way better than the initial email I'd sent, which is like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on? I'm just freaking out. Yeah, and like ruined that relationship because you, you do weird shit when you're stressed. The second thing this week that stressed me out is Create, my second child. We're helping creators launch NFTs and social tokens in Web3. At Create, we're having issues creating a social token strategy to launch with our creators, AKA like how do you as a creator create a template that makes people want to interact with your token. Essentially, we're just so new at this that I don't know half the things I'm doing. So whenever I have this issue, I use my second method, which is asking for help. So what I do is I create a table of what I'm struggling with. And on the other side, I name somebody's name that can help me with this. So for example, some of the questions I'm asking myself is first, how does Nutshell, one of our creators, go about launching a social token. Like how do we essentially create a strategy that makes people excited about it and his community wants to adopt it. So for this person, I am writing down Cooper. Cooper is a crypto strategist and I'm gonna ask him some questions. The second thing I have is how do we legally set this up? Launching your own currency has never been done for before, right? So how do we make sure this is sound and legal? So I'm writing down Ruben, who is a crypto lawyer and I'm gonna ask him questions and ask him for help. So for Ruben, I'm gonna go send him a message right now. So let's do it. I truly believe if you're struggling with making a YouTube channel, growing a business, becoming a photographer full time, you need to be able to master these two skills, which is when she hits the fan, make a slow decision or ask for help, or even better, do a combination of both. You don't know how many decisions I lost more money by making too many rapid decisions or not asking for help. And even if you can't find help, utilize the comment section. I cold DM a bunch of people. I made a whole video about this before I'll link it below of me just DMing Gary Vaynerchuk, people I look up to for help. As long as I can tell a story and provide some sort of value, you are able to build a team around people you don't know. At the end of the day, you either want to do it or not. I think you have to listen to your gut feeling. I get a lot of questions of people saying, hey Jay, should I quit? Should I keep going on YouTube? Should I keep pursuing this creative business? And you know when it's the right time to quit. Like you just have a gut feeling. But the only way you can get in touch with your intuition is if you're not filled with anxiety. Like if you're always anxious, you can't really trust your gut, right? You're just freaking out every minute. So the reason why I love my first advice of just taking a break away from your computer, taking a 
walk waiting 48 hours is because you're able to clear your mind and actually make the right decision based on your intuition. If you are a fellow creative and you're struggling to grow your business and you have some questions, I want you guys to ask me anything. I'm speaking with Adobe on June 9th where you guys can come to an event and ask me anything. This event is free. Go swipe up the links in my description box and I can't wait to meet you guys. Whether you're struggling on making better videos, growing a business, growing on TikTok, YouTube, I am here for you, okay? Let me be your bestie. I love you guys. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below and sign up for my event with Adobe. Seriously, it's a dream come true. I love the Adobe team. Thank you guys for having me and I will see you guys later. <sighs> Wish me good luck on these meetings. <laughs>